Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes. Yeah, hi, Kaushik. Hi. So I'll start started. Okay. Uh, please confirm my screen is visible or not. Yes, visible. Okay. So today, uh, I have to just discuss the diagram of React Redux. Okay. Because uh, React earlier, I have uh, used to show that how React and Redux are working in a code base, but some architecture point of view, we have to know that how internally React with connected Redux and then how the entire works should uh, they are connecting and together how they perform. So let's go to my jam board one minute. So, this is my Redux. Central, central, centrally data aligned here. Global store. Okay. And I have one component. And that is Another yeah. this is my action. Is a reducer. Okay. So when I uh, I have some action means inside the component whenever I clicked whenever I change the menu drop down. Okay, this is my action. As per the action, some action creators, so some events might be dispatched over there. Okay. So let's go to my this diagram. You can see, right? This is my Redux and this is my component. And I will, this is my central store and I got the data. This is, a, this is the React part. This is the Redux part. So from the component, I have dispatched some action. For the action, it requires two things: type and payload. Earlier, I have added in the right type and payload. Type means the action name. You can tell. Payload means data, simply data. And whenever I passed it, passed to the reducer. Reducer, Redux cannot uh, communicate directly to the react it needs some reducer update the state and after that when reducer can update 
so component can subscribe means from the front end the react part and the redux part both are connected to the subscribe method when we subscribe the method that time data will be stored over the component side ultimately this is the cycle where here i am in uh, adding some our data entire data should be stored over there and if i want some data means uh, like i have some parcels i got i have ordered some parcel from the amazon so when the parcel is coming so it comes to the central point not directly in your home right some points it will come from that point sub parcel has been distributed to the among the cities among the places the address so this is the parcel point over the i uh, our data is, has been stored and then this is my address component so whenever i clicked means dispatch action clicked is one event one action page load is one action event change one action so every action when it perform from the react it needs to get two arguments one is type another is payload type means the action name you can tell that so, uh, then as per the action name it will map the data internally so payload and after getting the data in the payload side it pass to the reducer so action with uh, will work with reducer and reducer has the power of the updates to the redux until unless reducer has updated to the redux redux will not subscribe anything to the component side that simple reducer has the power to updates all the component or the data side after it update and how reducer updates when the action pass something to the reducer side and then it will subscribe to the front end means redux to react side is it clear this uh, this structure yes sir okay and same structure i have created for that but when we are working in the api side so api we have to get some data whenever the response goes to the server side so it takes some time that time the structure is same only another thing middleware whatever i have discussed so this is the middleware thang so action creator where uh, earlier without the api call without the lazy method it was directly pass the data action to reducer but here we have to pass action to action creator so thang this is the middleware and from middleware to reducer and uh, every structure is same only introducing the middleware thang thang is a middleware where you have to pass the data from action to thang and thang to reducer and ultimately it will updates the store and then you can create combine multiple reducer that is call your combine reducer more than one reducer you have to click you have to create and more than one action you have to create one redu means every action has one reducer okay like login action login reducer it might be map it this way so uh, in this way we can see that action creator action we can display the type and payload so only these things in the react redux okay so you can see why we got the redux because it is not possible every time to pass the data from parent to child and child to parent everywhere we in large scale in uh, enterprise architecture or scalable architecture it is not possible to manage our data one by one so that's why our performance might be showing some issues our performance might be lesser our performance might not be good as per the expectation for the data management this is called the data management so that's why we have created some external means global storage that is called redux and the state management you can also create it so you can see that we have created two components like list list to child child one to child two home has two components child one to child, 
child age one, child age two. So everybody can get the data from the Redux only because when the our uh, we are bootstrapping our application, bootstrapping our application. So that time we have provide, we have sent the data, we have to add the data to my application as with the provider. So provider is comes from the React Redux that I have uh, added over there. So you can see. This provider na? and then provider we have to store the data and then pass the data over here and then everybody can access everywhere centrally we can access okay is it clear yeah and now one thing that react developer tools so uh, React developer tools is used for your debugging purpose. You can, uh, without developer tools, you can see the only rendered HTML part, right? Not the component view. So to overcome that problem, React has introduced developer. So in the Chrome, you can add these in the, uh, added to the Chrome like React developer tools you can add over there. Mm -hmm. This extension for finding component, no? component finding. What? This extension uh, used to find a component, no? Yes, yes. You can uh, enter a structure. You can uh, uh, debug from the React developer tool. Okay. So currently it is inactive, right? We cannot see anything, but this is my application. Whenever I clicked, you can see the link is activated now. React developer to that. Right? So this is the you can see the component, right? Everything you can get with this. Only one application is there, so that's why one only Google. We can uh, how much you have the application, the component, so that um, component you can debug. So you can say it has two state one is error, one is speed title.
तिकडे आहे का ते
হ্যালো হ্যাঁ হ্যালো কৌশিক হ্যালো ওগো কিছু দেখতে ভাইসিবল রাখছি ডেটাবেস and uh, we have to integrate the firebase with the redux so this code uh, i'm going to share with you that uh, firebase console you have to create some projects let me share my screen is visible right visible visible yeah yeah so that is firebase কনসোল নু হ্যাভ and you have seen that i have created two projects over here earlier so you have to create one projects and then uh, its api have, uh, it has some keys like api keys authentication keys the web url that has to be consumed at your end in the react side okay so create the projects so enter your project name like demo app um, this name is globally unique means in the network of firebase if same name was there it would not be displayed so demo app one i have add and confirm continue you can see that uh, google analytics for your projects the data analytics google analytics that Uh, that kind of optimization you can get over there this is basically a cloud server like aws azure gcp is the cloud so firebase is also the third party cloud storage where we can add our data and we can consume so crude application you can also get take some time for creating the application 
until and unless I will add the code base. How we have to write the code for the file you set up. So you can see one config.js or firebase.js this file you have to add your authentication like API keys, authent domain, database URL, project ID. So you have to add this thing and also install the firebase. This one.
anything is left you can say and i will upload the code for the react redux firebase setup and the rest of the means i have uploaded many, many i think two or three uh, topics uh, code base not deployed that i will deploy okay i yes okay Okay, then we'll uh, close the session. Okay, and stop the, stop my recording. Yeah. Okay, coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Thank you.